In this tutorial, we will take a look at how to add additional repositories from which one can install new software for your Ubuntu Linux system. Now, Ubuntu Linux, like most Linux distributions, uses the idea of online repositories or servers to manage and make available new software. Instead of going to a particular website and downloading a piece of software, most Linux distributions uh, provide a pool of new software that is available for download directly from the Linux distribution itself. One tool to do the installation is under Applications and Add Remove is a way to install and remove applications from the Ubuntu Linux system. But the applications that are listed are dependent on which repositories or, or which servers are made available. There is a tool to manage these repositories. Going into System and then Administration, there is an option for software sources, which, as the highlight tooltip says, configure the sources for installable software and updates. Clicking on that tool starts a utility which allows the user to maintain or, or, or enable or disable which repositories are available to the Ubuntu Linux system. Now, this particular graphical tool has several tabs. The first tab is Ubuntu 6.10. That's the current version of Ubuntu at the time of this recording. And there's a list of internet available repositories uh, provided by the Ubuntu Linux distribution. And the ones that are checked are the ones that are enabled and the ones that are not checked are disabled. So let's take a look at these. The first one is Community Maintained Open Source Software, and it's also called Universe. That's sort of the nickname for that particular repository. One could say that this is software that's not included by default, but that is provided by the community as add-ons uh, to the main Ubuntu Linux distribution. And you can see that that repository is enabled. It is checkmarked. The next one that is available is Canonical Supplied Open Source Software. Canonical is the company behind Ubuntu Linux. And you can see that this repository is called Main. That repository is the main repository of the Ubuntu Linux distribution. That's the repository that contains all the default software for Ubuntu Linux. Now, the next one is Software Restricted by Copyright or Legal Issues, and this repository is nicknamed Multiverse, and it's disabled by default. This is software that, as it says, may be restricted by copyright or legal issues. It may not be allowable to install uh, in certain countries or certain of the software may have some restrictions or copyright issues that are that either allow for the distribution, uh, perfectly legal, but they just may be restricted by copyright. And Ubuntu Linux being a free and open source uh, Linux distribution, like most Linux distributions, tries to encourage the use of open and free software. Free, of course, meaning unrestricted. All of the software that's available in these repositories, even this restricted repository, is free in the sense of no cost, but it's not free in the sense of unrestricted. So by default, Ubuntu does not provide restricted software, but going into this software source graphical tool, one can easily enable that by simply clicking the box, and that will now enable the restricted software. Now, the next tab is Internet Updates, and this allows the, the uh, user to check which type of updates one wants to make available. And by default, we have important security updates and recommended updates. There are also proposed updates and backported updates. And generally speaking, most people do not want to enable those, but want to make sure the first two are enabled, as it is here. And then there's, a, there's settings for how often the automatic updates are checked and whether or not to download the updates automatically but do not install them or to go ahead and install the security updates without confirmation. There's various options there. There's a way to configure third-party repositories, if any. Some third parties, individuals, and companies may provide an Ubuntu-compatible repository of their own, and one can add that here or add a, a CD-ROM if one has a repository on CD. There's uh, authentication, which is a way to import uh, PGP keys, which is a way to confirm that the packages that are downloaded are from Ubuntu and are not from some unauthenticated source. And then there's a way to participate in a survey, sort of, that, that collects information on the software that's installed. So we have simply made one change by enabling the multiverse repository, and then we can click Close.
And before that, it asks whether or not to go ahead and update the list of software because we've changed, we've added a repository. So we'll want to click reload and that will simply reload the information. It doesn't download any, any software. It simply downloads the information about the new software that we've now enabled by enabling that multiverse repository. Once the multiverse repository is enabled, new software will be made available for download that is restricted. That was not there originally because that repository was not enabled. That new software will now be available in the Add Remove Software Application Tool as well as the Synaptic Package Manager. So that is a summary of how to add new repositories and how to enable the automatic update notification tool uh, for the Ubuntu Linux system. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.